When country wasn't cool, my dad was on the radio. He was often Western New York's first connection to the nation's rising country music stars. It was quite overwhelming to find out that he had made an impact so many years, so many, so many people, so many places. After getting his start doing early morning radio segments, Ramblin' Lou made his mark on Western New York by purchasing the radio station WMMJ in Lancaster and changing the call letters to WXRL in the early 70s. RL for Ramblin' Lou. Early one of um, Johnny Cash. Lou quickly gained listeners with a simple concept, keep country first. It tells the story, tells all about people's problems. He loved what he did, so it wasn't work. But Rambling Lou, with his signature white hat tilted to the side, wasn't just our connection to country music. He was also a family man. He married a guitar player, and together they had three daughters and a son. And of course, music was neatly weaved into the family's fabric. We started a family band. There's four of us kids, now the grandkids. So it's been a great thing. Lou was inducted into the Buffalo Broadcasters Hall of Fame in 1996. He was honored by the Buffalo History Museum just last year. But the Western New York native remained humble and focused on his loves, family, music, and those who loved the music, shying away from the pomp and circumstance of being showered with awards. There's tons and tons of plaques and awards in boxes that he just never put up. It was a great, great way to grow up, and uh, Jason will continue. The tower's right out back, uh, you know, locally owned and operated here, and We'll keep it going.